Hi, my name is Travis, and in this tutorial, I'll be walking you through the Static Object Template. The Static Object Template allows you to add a 3D object to the world. Let's get started. First, open Lens Studio and select the Static Object Template to create a new project. The template has example content already included to help you understand how the template works. I'm going to walk through how we imported this content into the template. So to start, I'm going to delete the example content labeled Replace Me in the Objects panel and remove me in the resources panel. Next, I'm gonna switch over to Maya to export my 3D model. In Maya, I have a 3D model that I'm ready to export for use in Lens Studio. Some things to note before exporting. Your model should be 10,000 triangles or less for best performance on low-end devices. Additionally, models in Lens Studio need to be triangulated, which will be enabling in the export process. To export, first select the object in the outliner, and then select File, and export selection. Then, make sure FBX is selected. In the export window, make sure tangents and binormals and triangulate are selected. Then, click export. For more information on exporting models, follow our 3D object export guides. The guides are broken out by different software packages, including Maya, Blender, and Cinema 4D. Now, let's switch back to Lens Studio to import our model. To import your model, go to Lens Studio's menu bar and select File and Import. Navigate to your exported FBX and select it. The model will now appear in your scene and your resources panel. For this model, I'm going to create a new PBR material by selecting Add New, Material, and PBR. Then, I'm going to import the textures we created in Substance Painter into my project by dragging them into the resources panel. Next. I'm going to link all the textures to the newly created PBR material, specifically the base, normal, and material params. Next, I need to link my new material to the object. In the Objects panel, select the object. And in the Inspector panel, set the mesh's material to the newly created PBR material. Lens Studio also supports non-PBR materials like Unlit, Diffuse, and Lambert. Now, I need to associate my imported model to the World Object Controller. To do this, simply drag the imported object to be a child of the World Object Controller. Scale your object so that it fits nicely in the preview window. Pressing R enables scaling of the object. When scaling, clicking the central cube will scale the model uniformly. Select and then scale the touch collision object to match the scale of your object. This will define the touch area for object manipulation. To enable shadows on your object, select your mesh objects in the Objects panel, and in the Inspector panel, set the Shadow Mode to Caster. Tune the Shadow Density slider to create a softer shadow. To change the shape of the shadow, select the Shadow Enable Directional Light in the Objects panel, then rotate the light. Pressing E enables rotation of the object. Clicking and dragging the rings will rotate your light, and the shadow will reflect this change. The Preview panel is where you're able to preview your lens in real time. Click the Refresh button to reset the lens experience. Lens Studio includes static images and videos to preview your world content against. Click the Image Picker to change to a different built-in video. The preview videos have tracking data, which means your 3D content will attach to the world like they do in the actual lens experience. Finally, let's preview our lens in Snapchat. To do this, click Pair Your Device in the top right corner of Lens Studio. Then, open Snapchat and scan the provided snap code. Make sure your device and computer are on the same Wi-Fi network. Depending on your network, this might take up to 30 seconds to connect. Once Snapchat and Lens Studio are connected, press the Push Lens to Device button. You can now preview your lens inside Snapchat. This lens is now ready for submission. For more information on submitting your lens, follow the submission guide in the Lens Studio documentation. Thanks for watching and have fun creating your own Snapchat lens.